Hey, you go, you're an animal. I think we broke the stud. Fight our way through it, but let's do it the fun way and grab the excavator. Sounds sound like something off Harry Potter. Oh, oh my gosh, it's coming fast. Oh, oof. my dreams are fabulous. Makeup, makeup. Where's my hairstylist? Oh man. Oh. All right, let me catch you up to speed. So we had a customer from Minnesota come in and say, "I need you to build me a party bus." Apparently he's got a good company, he's been very successful, and he wants to reward his employees with a party bus. This is the platform he brought us, a five-ton truck. We are going to have a lot of fun with this truck, and in this episode, you're going to see all the teardown process, taking out the axles, preparing the bed, drawing up everything on SolidWorks, creating a design for the canvas, figuring out how we're going to build the arches to hold the canvas up, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to have Doug delete the rear axle. Then we're gonna have Alan go over to the scrap yard and source the front steer axle off another truck that we have so he can bring it in, put it up, mock everything up, and get that front steer axle assembled into the rear. What I wanna do, I wanna give a big shout out to Pelican Cases because under each one of those 18 seats on the back, Pelican sponsored a nice cooler that slides right underneath, that holds your snacks, your utensils, your six pack of soda, Anything you want goes inside that cooler to keep all of his employees or whoever rides in the back fed and happy. And not only did they sponsor those coolers, they also sponsored one of their heavy duty cases. One of their bread and butter awesome cases slides right into the back bumper of this beast to hold anything else they might need while they're out and about. There's gonna be a lot of process, a lot of tear down, and you are gonna love it. Let's go. So me and Alan are headed on a mission today. We got the party bus that we were working on. As far as I understand, which isn't much, uh, we're getting rid of one of these axles, making one of the axles on the back rear steer. The main function is we're just going to take this whole tandem assembly off. Both these rear axles are just going to come off. And I'm going over to the other yard to grab another front axle and front axle assembly to put in place of this tandem axle. So instead of a three axle truck, we're going to have a two axle truck but you'll be able to steer the front and back. Hold on, so, hold on, hold on. So you use a front axle in the rear to make it rear steer? Yes. It explains that. everything. So uh, that means going out to our yard that is full of goodies and not so many goodies that are piled in the way and we'll have to dig our way through to find the truck that we have to pull out to get the axle off. So we're just going over to the storage yard? Yep. Oh man, I thought we were going to some like like exotic junkyard full of like military axles. Well, this is sort of an exotic junkyard. <laughs> it's <laughs> as much as you can pack in a small corner of a lot. All right, all right, all right. So we're headed over to Harry's lot to find these axles. So there's so much stuff over there that it's like, I have a hard time keeping track of anything that's over there. Alan is probably our guy as far as like knowing the inventory over at the junkyard. So let's head over. There's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> all right, okay. we'll, we'll show you. So we're gonna need an oxyacetylene torch to cut off the rivets on the back and any bolts so we can remove the entire front axle assembly. That sounded like something off Harry Potter. And then we need to get the big forklift running and probably somebody else to operate one or both because we have to move a lot of equipment out of the way. I'm not a forklift operator, yeah. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Well, I, I can operate forklift. I'm the guy. Uh, but we're going to need chains and running around. And I'm probably frozen now, but it was muddy yesterday. I'm going to go put some boots on. Do we have enough gas? Uh, how are you determining that? Just like. Well, the little needle is above zero. Oh. <laughs> Dude, why are you wearing my hoodie again? Oh. Uh, why are you this, wearing my hoodie? This is actually a regular Caleb size hoodie. Dude. <laughs> what? Man. So I'm going to leave you and Doug and Steven here to make sure all the content for the party bus gets taken care of. Where are you going? I'm going with Alan. Where are you going? To find the front axle for this. Oh, okay. The front back axle. Yeah, front rear axle. Hey, Alan, since you're here, do you have the, do you have a little tool to get these off? Uh, you need an impact gun to take off the lug nuts? What you put on the impact gun. Yes, the adapter, the socket? head, the socket, the square piece, the Mach Maduba. Mostly a computer guy. 
nerd. There should be one in that metal cabinet if, and here's a big if, it's not up on the mountain when we're doing the excavator recoveries. Why didn't you bring it back? You know? Well, most of our equipment's there because uh, I thought we were going to go back a day after, but you guys abandoned shit and it's been a month. There's a, there's a container up there full Did you find of one, Doug? What Is this the dual socket? Drive? Dude, that looks like... Is that on... Yeah, on Halo. You get the rail gun or whatnot and you just walk around. That's what he's going to be doing right now. The minigun's the one that has the spinning barrels and you hold it there. Yeah. I work with a bunch of nerds. Alright. We're going to step out. We don't have enough air pressure. Uh, okay. How so, do we get more air pressure? Well, what we've done in the past is tell everyone else to stop working. But what Doug's doing, he's going to grab an auxiliary air compressor that we're going to be using. Dude, that hoodie though. Let's see. Yeah. Warm up. It's great to me when you're working on these old machines, just how much work it is just to get a wheel off. Like we have everything planned in a day, like, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Then you get started, it's like, well, I might get a wheel off today. <laughs> Whoa! Broke it! Broke it! Well, it's off! I think we broke the stud. What's going on? I think uh, Doug doesn't look happy. Well, he's not way happy. He started using the shop air. Not enough juice, because everyone's using the shop air, right? So he improvised and brought in this designated compressor for what he's doing. But, that's a lot of power that he needs. And so he's just going little by little, and the first one broke off completely. Doug, how many do you think are gonna break off? Oh, I think 90% of them. Hey. That is great. <laughs> Yeah, so one thing you can see is we're not trying to just rip that tire off right now because that thing is freaking heavy. If one of us got under there to try to take it off as it is, we'd be using workman's comp and other cool tools instead of the right tool, which definitely is getting a forklift involved. Here you go, it's off. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta take that cap off. Aha! Okay, Doug. You're right, I'm wrong. You're smart, I'm dumb. Oh, fresh lake bed. Tommy, where are you going with this? Feels like you're right there. I know. I just like... Just tilted. It was up right. You want to roll it off?
Dude, this looks awesome. All right, we're over the storage lot. Yep. So the truck we need to get out is right back there with all them tires on top of it. So we're gonna have to move this truck out of the way and then there's a little yellow trailer and some sort of water container. Not so bad because a bunch of stuff has been moved, uh, which makes things much easier. So we could use the forklift and try to, you know, fight our way through it, but let's do it the fun way and grab the excavator. Wait a minute, what's over here? Look at all this stuff. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, this is all our stuff, all Dave's stuff. Uh, yep, and it goes and goes around over here. There's another military truck over there, an old military forklift behind you, and uh, that's sort of actually pretty cool. Look at the size of the plate on the uh, on these things. That's like what two inch or an inch and a half plate. That's just a counterweight. That's a bracket. That's just a bracket for holding something. Has anybody ever seen a four-door Bronco, basically? Diesel-powered. Uh, no, I've never seen one. Is that original? Yeah. Well, I think a uh, company redid them from the factory, but at one point it was brand new like that. Huh. Well, let's go get that uh, excavator. turret is not very strong on pulling a lot of torque. With those back uh, wheels locked up and all this weight, I was it was not wanting to move on me, so I had to bring the distance between me and the truck closer and then give it a little bit of a nudge to get it moved. As soon as you can take the oil tank off. I'm just taking this water tank off because uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep this other trailer level with the chains I've got. So whatever's on top is going to fall off. Huh. Huh. Welcome to Fab, my man. Let's go. 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 This is the web. Makeup! Makeup! Where's my hairstylist? Oh man, where's wardrobe? Come here, this is this is just not making it for me. You know that this right here for And there will be no Have no way of rotating it. I think you parked her pretty good, man. Good enough. Uh, sort of jammed in underneath the truck. Okay, I don't. I want to do minimal damage to try to pull it out from underneath the truck. So maybe I better uh, try to just pull back first before lifting. like to do some steering. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. This dude is on pulling, steer it so the front end stays around and comes around. Alright, let's give her a shot.
What would you do here, bud? Pick the front end up, spin it around, shove it back in the hole. Is that actually a functional strap? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Like. Look at that. One cigarette left in that pack. I always like it when I find a cigarette I didn't know I had. That one fast. The same Dave Sparks fast. It's Alan, we've got, we're getting rid of all the five tons. Come on. Do you even know what we're doing here, bud? Yeah. I'm about to show Alan. If you don't hurry up, I've got see, things to do. Bud wants to do the hack job. Just cut, 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 and destroy really perfectly good stuff. I want to do it in a way so we can save a lot of stuff. So. Okay, well you guys have fun with this. I got things to do. You want to take these nuts off? Yeah, the nuts the for suspension? the shocks. Uh, I don't want to cut those because uh, that may be uh, necessary on the other one. We may end up having to take some of the other stuff off. Best to make it so I don't just destroy it. These, I can cut these bolts off here. They're just regular bolts. I mean, that's not going to be a big issue. Or I can actually, I think my impact will take those off. So I think I can take those out faster with the impact, actually. So let's do that. And clean. Most of it's going to be able to take off with the impact. I'm seriously impressed on just how frozen this tiny little fitting is. I like that you say you're impressed and not frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. How frustrated, or no, not, not frustrated. No, he's not frustrated though. Yeah. Very impressive how st stuck it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm impressed on how hard this is. That's the way a wizard looks at life. Yeah. When life gets hard, he's more impressed by it yes. than anything. When you're a busy man like Alan, you just gotta go. And sometimes things get a little, a little unorganized. Right? Yep. Always on go, Alan is. If he's not up at his mountain fortress, he's helping Dave with something. He's not helping Dave with something, we've got a hold of him. Yep. And if he's not doing that, he's dreaming about military equipment. Yep. What, do you, what do you dream about? Oh. Oof, my dreams are fabulous. I fly, I travel planets, I do all sorts of stuff. Do you really? Adventures, multiple realities, all sorts of things. Running a little bit low on hot. You catch that? Yes. Dude, that was so cool. So, they just this melted side's that bolt. Yep, this side is all loose. Now they, we just finished the last three on this side. Killer is 14 and 18. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, it's coming fast. These aren't really uh, cold. Right? Want me to push it that way? Yeah, be good. Push it. Okay, hold on. Like I said, I'm working with Alan. I keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> I am impressed with Alan trying to save as much of this as possible just in case we do need it. That shows that he's done this before and that he's ran into the situation where he's probably, probably cut something up and he's like, ah oh, man, I needed that. Wise man here, the wizard is. But either way, we're gonna get this done. We'll see you back at the shop. I just uh, dress the whole thing because it doesn't have any of the covers right now, so I just wanna just... This should be all right. Just to see it. What do you want to? Okay, hold on. Just see this. Is it not a canvas cover? It's a metal cover? No, it is. It is a canvas. It's canvas. Like, yeah. yeah. All right, so <coughs> what you have is just your 18 seats in the back. Okay. And then on, underneath seven, each seven, four. Yeah, I mean, on, underneath every seat, there's like a cooler. 
this size cooler right here. And we have so in your cooler, you have different compartments. You can throw like a notebook here, your pencil, whatever you need, sandwich. your phone, sandwich. And then in here, you have space to, I don't know, like a little strap to hold your things that you don't want them to get wet with the ice or yeah. something. And then a small Fancy. tray. Comes we drinks down low. Yeah, drinks down low, and it has a bottle, up top, bottle opener, and then it has a magnet right here to catch the. That's a caps. sweet cooler. These are from Pelican. This is the yeah, 14 four. Sponsored those. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Man, those are cool. Thank you, nice Pelican. Work, Pelican. Thank you, Pelican. Those are killer. That goes underneath each seat. Okay. Uh, the sides are gonna be removable. The whole side tarp or whatever is gonna roll inside this. Compartments, okay. little C channels. Yeah. And then we have a canvas can easily roll up and down. Then. Yeah. We up. have the stair, the stairs that fold. How the hell? And this light nice. inside the chassis. Sweet. Right. Yeah, well, it's not the program. It's the user. Exactly. You don't think it has anything to do with program two? No. We can do this. Other, other these are stick drawings, stick figure drawings. Mm -hmm. Did you say we? Like you know how to do something that works? Me and Joe, you've been working on this for a long time. Oh yeah, a few weeks already. Mm -hmm. And we are planning to have another, I don't know if this is going to happen or not, it's still in the concept uh, design. It's going to have a couple more. Uh, no, it's not going to be like a cargo case, another Pelican case. Okay. You can just throw any gear in here. Cool. It's gonna be yeah, stored 18 right seats, there. 18 coolers, staircase, yep. canvas that rolls up. Does that roll inside a container or it just roll up by hand and then you bungee it to the top? Uh, no, it's gonna have electric motors. Electric motors? Yeah, yeah that's pretty sweet. Then a rear steer axle. Yep. Two. Only two, only two axles. Electric motors for the canopies too? Yeah. Yeah, that's rad. Let's go look at this five ton. Thanks, Jair. Yeah. I like the Ben Franklin thing you're doing. What's the Ben Franklin thing? That nah, literally walking. Like I, don't about to, I don't know why I'm doing it today. Just you're like about to declare something. Maybe I am. <laughs> all right, so Alan found this front steer axle over there in the storage yard. We've got it all cleaned off. He's about to raise it up where we took those axles out of the back. And we'll fit it up with these pins so that we can then mock up all of our steering components. Alan, you drove those off. Are they right? I don't know. Are they? It looks a little bit too small. I thought Alan. you measured twice. We talked about this. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> you nervous laugh. <laughs> oh, I knew what you were looking at. I knew that. That's um, hold on a second. Come down just a little bit, Alan. There you go. Up. Come up a little bit more. The bar, the bar. Right there. There you go. Get yourself. Let's see where we at. Oh, anti seize. Anti seize make, me up. That's good enough. Just twisting around and hold on now. Remember there is a bolt that goes right here and this Slot right there where the bolt goes to. You want to make sure that the aims for the bolt. Yeah, yeah. Here. You might have to go up a little bit, right? That's what my guess would be on getting anyway. Yeah. But I think we'll probably have to do a double rear steer axle. Something. Yeah, something a little bit beefy. Uh, Lord, up. No, I need to. And then, not perfect. Okay, we can solve this, but we need the wizard staff. Ooh, the wizard staff. So right now we got the front two pins in, holding the front axle, but it's kind of twisted just enough, because you can see another pin needs to go through here with that in the middle. You're hitting it, I got to bring it about half an inch this way in order for that to be able to go up into where it goes and the pin to slide in. Right here. Yeah, dude. All right, Alan. 
Shows what your wizard staff can do. There, let me try one thing. How much space they got forward? I got enough to do it. Okay. Then we get down to the last resort. Now Alan's got all the tricks. We're getting stumped right here on the back. Can't get the forklift to push the axle over any. He pulled out his wizard bar. Wizard bar still couldn't do it. And then he said, we're down to my last resort. And then went out to his car. So I don't really know what that means, but I'm really excited to see what he comes back with. All right. Yeah. Magic arm. I love it. Alan, explain your last option here. Yeah, this is your last resort, you said. Well, it's... There's no resorts after this? this no, is it? this is just the uh, simplest last resort. <laughs> so, it'd probably be easier from the distance okay. to do the far one first. Okay. <clears throat> Use a ratchet strap to pull it. These things can put, pull several tons. I told you. <laughs> How many go up? Almost, yeah. I, I just whacked it a little and then it went in. There we go. A little bit more. Okay, wait right there for a minute. We got lights. You good? Yep. Hey, nice work, Al. Ready? Up? Yeah, up. Are you good to be Santa? Are you around tomorrow to be Santa? Oh yeah, I got, is this like a bishop question? Like, have I been good Are enough you worthy? to be Santa? Are you worthy to be Santa tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, well, I gotta find my Santa suit, so I'll go home. Dude, yeah, I was so pumped when you texted me that. Yeah. When you said you want to do it again, I was like, hell yeah. Like, I, I don't want to go into it with people knowing like, oh, they went to camp, they did all this stuff, because then if we fail and suck again, then it's like, oh. They, True, so maybe we should just do some wind sprints. I just want to go just to like the Ogden <laughs> event and do it again. Yeah. Like, what? That's the all thing I you guys did in next week's video? Shh. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Wow, good plug, guys. It's really snow. great tease. I just, it's not, yeah. It's not intense this time. Hey, no well, bull intense. crap. But let's just say we're kind of hooked on this new oh. <laughs> super toot. I gave you enough hints, you'll figure it out. I can't read what this thing says. Wait, Alan, what did you say? Can't read. You can't read. I uh, can't read. If He's got to go to a right. school for kids who want to learn how to read. Good. Do other good thing. I missed it up. What is this? A center for ants? What are you trying to read? It doesn't make any sense. They should say like right or left on them, but I can't tell. Alan's gonna try something else. <laughs> I don't think Alan knows which one's left and which one's right. <laughs> well, he said he couldn't read. <laughs> he can't read, doesn't know his left from his light. Left. Check it out, Alan. Yeah. Found the marking. Oh, you did? Left. Yep. Oh, there he is. oh superhero. And just trying to find out what might be hitting what's causing it not to slide in. Could it be all that dirt? No, it w well, I don't know, maybe. Oh, the wizard claw. I didn't even notice all this behind it. Roll on highway. Roll on low. 
kurwa. I do know that when I use the impact, it, it, it doesn't stop. It just slowly yeah. keeps turning. Oh, yeah, you gotta do that one. Just spun, Alan? I'm not hitting it with very much force. And it spun? Looks like it. We have two of them that somehow they're spinning. Is the stud? The whole I don't, spinning? I can't tell. So, if you notice before when he's tightening them, you go slow, 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 and then all of a sudden went fast. I mean, something stripped. And it stripped the stud, and the stud is spinning. Something happened. Whether it's stripped or whether it's the. Oh. Hey, you go, you're an animal. All right, so these are the studs. The studs are not supposed to spin that way. The nut can go on there and cinch your tire down. What we think happened is you started cinching that tire down. The pressure made the stud actually spin. No, it just sheared off the threads. But instead, it sheared off the threads. That was option number two. Two options. Either you're spinning a stud or you're shearing off threads. Both aren't good. No. But judging from how much stud's sticking out anyway, I think we're probably gonna want longer studs in there. So there you have it, everyone. We have more work to do. But what we need to do right now is what, Alan? Well, all the uh, studs are too short. And in fact, our truck that had been used before, when they changed it from uh, dualies to singles, they did not check the distance on the uh, studs on the front, and this thing has been running very sketchy with only about half the threads on that it should have had. So we need to get new studs for each wheel. Yes. And while we do that, what you should do is like and subscribe, and maybe leave us a friendly comment down there, some words of uh, motivation or... Words of wisdom. Oh yeah, leave us a word of wisdom right there. Yeah.